Hi everybody, this is Amy's Art Table and I'm Amy. Today I'm back with a tropical Brachiosaurus. I hope that you'll join me in painting the sky. Let's grab our supplies and maybe a comfy seat and a cup of tea and we'll get started. Alright guys, so I have my Brachiosaurus all sketched out here. So you can grab the sketch on my website. I will link it in the information of the video so that you can print your own sketch and watercolor along with me or you can go ahead and just use a pencil on your watercolor paper and sketch out your Brachiosaurus with the long neck and the Hawaiian lei and a palm tree. So once you have a sketch in front of you, I'm going to grab a medium sized brush and I'm going to start with a nice purple color. Let's see, grab this purple. I'm gonna work on the dinosaur's body first. Um, one other key thing is that you can actually print you can print off my website onto regular copy paper this sketch and then you can take that sketch or that copy that you've made to a print shop and they can print directly on your watercolor paper which will give you a nice fine line on your watercolor paper that you can use as a guide and watercolor straight on it. I'm going to start with purple on the Brachiosaurus neck here. Um, you can also watercolor on copy paper. It's just a little thinner. It'll still work though. Add some purple. Of course you can make your dinosaur a different color. Whatever color you wish. got a mouth full of branches here. I'm going to do the back and the tail purple as well. But I'm going to leave a little space because I'm going to add, I'm going to mix in some yellow just for fun. So paint about half of the Brachiosaurus's body with purple, all of the neck and the head, except for the little top fin here. And then about half of his body. And then I'll try to get um, our purple to blend with a little bit of yellow. So add a little bit more water here, kind of loosen this up. Okay, now I'm ready to add a bit of yellow. So I'm gonna thoroughly rinse out my brush here so there's no more purple on it. And I'm gonna grab a yellow that I like. Again, you could choose any two colors that you want. I'm just giving you some ideas. And I'm gonna blend in some yellow and let it spread out. And just for fun, give this guy some fun colors today. So I guess this guy will be a Hawaiian Brachiosaurus. I don't know even as much as my son knows about dinosaurs and he's four. So if you know anything about where the Brachiosaurus lived, leave me a comment. But for today, I'm just using my imagination and having fun and pretending that this Brachiosaurus lived at the beach. All right, so really want this yellow to blend in to the purple, which it seems like it's doing. I'll use yellow on the legs. 
just very simply painting this guy. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, as I let the dinosaur dry, I will move on to the palm tree. I'm gonna keep this pretty simple too. I'm gonna just grab a green that I like. I'm gonna start at the top here. Just start filling this in with a light wash of green. Get a bit more. The branch that the Brachiosaurus is eating, I'll make a little bit darker. It'll stand out better towards the edges of the palm. We can add some little wispy details, some little little uh, thin lines coming out to make it look more like a palm. I've actually gone out of the lines here and that's okay. You can always go back um, and erase some stray pencil marks. If you have leftover pencil marks, you can erase them after your watercolor dries. All right. So this is pretty undetailed for the tree, but that's okay. If you'd like to add more detail, you can go back in and add areas that are darker. And again, you can add those wispy details. I'm gonna keep this guy really simple today. Add just a touch of detail here. We're gonna keep it simple. Then we'll start looking at a brown color for your trunk, tree trunk. All right. We'll use a nice tan color here. I'll very carefully go along the palm. Try not to get it to blend together too much here. Try to keep it separate. If it blends a little bit, that's okay. See, mine's blending a little here and here, and that's all right. Okay. Let's do this nice palm tree here. This is going to be a real simple painting, but you are more than welcome to go back and add tons of detail. You could detail out a cloudy sky. Maybe you have an ocean in the background. Maybe the Brachiosaurus is standing on a sandy beach and you see some shells. If you try this project, um, you could always tag me on Instagram. I would love to see how yours looks. All right, next we're gonna work on the lay. And let's see, I think I will do some blues for the Hawaiian lei. So just get a nice color blue. Um, I can use the tip of my brush for this detailing work, but if you're having trouble using this medium sized brush, you can move to a tinier brush for this part. So I'm just going to create some little blue flowers here by very gently going in a circle and leaving the center open. I think we'll come back and add in 
um, a different color to the center of these flowers when we're done. All right, so something like that. Keep a little bit of blank space in the center there. Now I'm gonna come back in and grab that, uh, really rinse out your brush if you're using the blue. Um, again, you can use whatever colors that you like. I'm gonna you go back to this yellow after my brush is um, rinsed out and I'm just going to cover right over the eye. Um, we'll go back and add the eyeball later. And then I'm going to do this little fin on the head. And let's see here. Grab my towel. If ever you get a color where you don't want it, the trick is a paper towel or an old towel. Just kind of blot that off. And you go back, maybe with a smaller brush and add the color back in that it should have been. Something like that, get rid of that blending there. All right, and then if it needs to be darker, you can go back again after it's dry. Right, so now our dinosaur is almost complete. Okay, so I am going to let this guy dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. I need this lay to dry more and I need the eyeball to dry more so I can add a little bit of detail. If you wanna keep painting, you can go ahead and work on the background at this point. I'm gonna let mine dry and I'll see you back in a few minutes. All right guys, so now we've had a chance for this to dry. You can come back in with a Sharpie and just add a little um, black pupil to the eye, a little black dot. Or we'll try to just add a dot with some black watercolor. Right in the center. And then rinse that brush out using a small brush now. I'll grab a different color yellow than the legs. And I will just paint the centers of these flowers with a bit of yellow. And my painting is complete. but I do see a little area that I wanna fix. Up here, the fin, just darken that just a touch. All right, now we're done. Thank you all for joining me in painting the Hawaiian Brachiosaurus. I will be back next Friday with a new video. If you have any requests, please leave me a comment and please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you back next week.